EA Games. Challenge everything. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? But, but Beds empty, no note, car gone! Um, Could have crashed um, out I... of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've but lived. Mom. Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. <laughs> you ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Let's go, Harry. Hit the glass jar. We need to get on with the denoming. That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh. oh. When you're ready, we'll meet you in the barn. Look, they're up in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and we'll pando them off the rafter. <laughs> target and flipendo the gnomes. <laughs> nice shot! Pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. They're heading for the garden. We'll meet you out in the barnyard. Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And watch out when the washing machine opens its door. And keep moving round it and cast for Pendo when the door is open.
be scared, Harry. That sorted it, Harry. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We'll meet you in the garden when you're ready, Harry. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flip endo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Wow, I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, flip endo the gnome Pick it up, spin it round, and chuck it over the low wall. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a gnome as far as Fred did. Or hit any of the targets in the fields over there. That was rubbish! Right on target. Number eight, Derwent Shrimpling. Right on target! It's late, boys! Time for bed! Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. Mrs. Beasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> it felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. 
Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. go. Really 
brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. Number 98, Dymphna Firmage. That's locked. Number five, Gulliver Pokeby. Can't get in there. Harry! Harry, we hoped you'd only gone one fireplace too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. No powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplaces I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, Grade 2, from Flourish and Blot, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blot's then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the flu powder. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blot's. Don't forget to buy your standard book of spells from Flourish and Blots, Harry. Gilderoy Lockhart's coming to do a book signing soon, so you'll best go there before it gets too busy.
How much is this book? The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and James. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell tape. So I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. The magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes, and the Leaky Cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. How much are our stink pellets? Three signals for a pack of ten. I don't have enough money. We're closed. I'm feeding the stock. Keep out. Didn't 
you hear me, boy? I said, we're closed now. Go away. I don't know kids today. If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him. Number 28, Tilly Toke. Ginny's Brass Scales! I see you, boy. <gasps> Get out! And don't come back! Or I'll leg locker you for the next 50 years! Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron, over there. Did I tell you, I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh-eating slugs.
Hello there, Harry. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really, it was nothing. You're such a kind boy, Harry. Here, have a chocolate frog for your efforts. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Great Scott! Is that... No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter's got a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. <laughs> Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Why, I remember the time when I was writing my second bestseller, Gadding with Cools. Harry, we've missed the train! I believe the more exposure I got in the press, the better my career would progress. <laughs> Miss the train? Trouble was, I became overexposed. Yes! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago. And it wasn't until I went mysteriously missing for three weeks. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Subsequently leaking the story to the Prophet. Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. That I'd been captured by trolls in the wilds of Stockton on Tees. OK. It's our only chance of getting to school on time. That I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? Oh. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? You know, Ron, I'm really not sure about this. We've got to get to school, haven't we? And even underage wizards are allowed to use magic if it's a real emergency. Section 19 or something of the uh, re restriction thingy. You're sure you can fly it OK? What's it look like? I'm doing all right, aren't I? Yeah, I suppose. So far. 
There's Hogwarts straight ahead! Uh-oh! Ah! Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> Ron! Ron! Where are you? Over here, Harry! The Whooping Willow's got me! Don't worry, Ron. I'll come and get you. Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry! Thank <laughs> you. 
Number 7. Hesper Starkey.
Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Why don't you try that door, Harry? The only thing I'm not looking forward to this time is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defence against the Dark Arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape, we, uh, we In were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snape, we... Go! And count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Come on, Harry! I'll meet you outside the entrance hall! Why, if it isn't young Potter, how are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Well, I would be, Nick, if Professor Snape hadn't caught me outside. Well, I suppose that rules are there for a reason, although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, you shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you again. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Come on, Harry! Hurry up! to the common room, Harry. She wants the password. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. There you are. Someone said you'd been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. I'll meet you inside, Harry. Bird. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Liberty Gibbet. Oh, and uh, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying.
flippity jibbit. Ah, Potter! You finally made it then. Heard about the Ford Anglia. Mum's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezers and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates and the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie Bots, every flavour beans. We're sure there's something here you'll like. How much is his Edgar Stroger card? 30 Bertie Bots, every flavour beans. Is there anything here that interests you? Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard that it's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. Nick, what's the matter? Ah, uh, a matter of no importance. It's just that Sir Properly Decapitated Podmore won't let me join the Headless Hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely parted company with their bodies. I'm sorry to hear that. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it's a matter of no importance. We ought to go outside. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom, a brief refresher course is in order. Potter, let's see if you still have that natural flying ability. First of all, I want to test your broom control. Fly up and hover a few feet from the ground. Hurry up, Potter. Now, fly back down to the ground and hover above it. Excellent. You seem to have lost none of your natural flying ability. Let's move on to something a little more difficult. You see before you a course comprised of enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin.
right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. You must fly through as many rings as you can in a set time. I've created several new enchantments for the rings, causing some to move and others to shrink as you approach them. When you're ready, Mr. Potter, you may begin. display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Just the person I've been looking for. Something dreadful has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. And I suppose you want me to get him out? Would you? That's so kind of you, Harry. He's out here. Neville? How did you end up back there? <coughs> he was looking for Trevor, his toad. And he went the wrong way. Now he's stuck. Well, can't you get him out, Hermione? No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? Herbology Greenhouse 3 in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up hawk lumps. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. That'll tell you how to do it. OK. So I've got to go into the library on the second floor and get a copy of Lockhart's book and then go out into the grounds and find my way into the Herbology Greenhouse to get the severing jar. Yes! <laughs> what did he say? Hurry up. was that? Hello there, young Harry. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hello, Nick. I'm just doing something for Hermione. It's urgent, so I'm afraid I can't chat for long. Not to worry, young Harry. You cut along now and I'll see you some other time. Good night.
啊。
Like this. Follow me, Potter. Harry was taken to Professor Dumbledore's office. Professor, I swear I didn't. Where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, where well, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Forks, Professor Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. And of course, Professor Dumbledore himself. I know you're not the attacker, Harry, but I must ask you whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Come. Come to me. Let me rip you. Let me tear you. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well. If you're sure, good night, Harry. Night, Professor. Bird. Get out of there. Nice one, Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. But Hermione, nearly had this Nick has been attacked, and I. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you in the morning. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Hermione, do you know what lesson we've got first thing? 
It's defence against the dark arts, Harry, with Gilderoy Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defence against the dark arts class. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent! This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spellbook somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spellbook in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. I suppose that Expelliarmus spellbook is down those stairs.
Dragon Potter. Forty house points for Gryffindor. Now I'd like you to use the Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. First duelist to gain five points wins the duel. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three... Scared, Potter! You wish! One, two, three! Mouth, Harry. Why didn't you tell us? I'm a what? A parcel mouth? You can talk to snakes. So? Does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. That's why the symbol of Slytherin House is a serpent. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. You'll find that hard to prove. He lived about a thousand years ago. For all we know, you could be. Anyway, we've got Quidditch practice next at the Quidditch Stadium. I'll meet you in the entrance hall, Harry. Listen up, you lot. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. I'll start with the Seeker. Over here, Potter. Now watch carefully. That's good, Harry. Flying through each ring makes you go faster and increases the magical charge in your broom. Now you're going faster, you'll see the magical charge in your broom has increased too. You can see this in the trail the broom is leaving in the air behind you.
The magical charge in your broom is at maximum. You can now get that extra boost of speed. That's a bludger hat. Don't let it hit you or it will reduce the magical charge in your broom. The heart too. Grab at the snitch and you'll catch it. Okay, you know the score. One opposing seeker, two bludgers and two opposing beaters to contend with. All you have to do is catch the snitch. Superb performance, Harry. You receive an A+. And because of that excellent performance, Harry, here's a brand new Nimbus 2000 to take with you. You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds, but try not to crash into too many of the towers. If you want to try and improve your Quidditch practice grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. Hello there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker after his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. There are some wizards, like Malfoy's family, who think they're better than everyone else. Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Oh, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. 
Slytherin. I did to go to the library and find a copy of Hogwarts A History. Why do you want it? So we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Of course. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get to the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and just pass the entrance to the library. There's a portrait that will let you in. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, past the library, portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefect. Hermione said that I had to go past the library to find the portrait to the restricted section. Right, somewhere around here is a portrait. Aha! The portrait! Bibliophile.
wink! Here you go.
How on earth do I get out of here?
How on earth do I get out of here? How on earth do I get out of here?
bottle bird. I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mud blood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Configuration first thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. Hello, Harry. People are saying you're the heir of Slytherin. Is it true? And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry. Though thousands wouldn't.
morning. Today we shall learn the transfiguration spell known as Avifors. Avifors will allow you to transform small objects, such as the parts of this statue, into birds. This is achieved like so. Avifors! You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Avifors challenge. Mr. Potter, come forward, please. Yes, Professor? The Avifor spellbook is located on the other side of this crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Yes, Professor. Off you go. in here. Maybe I should use Lumos. Number 85, Blenheim Stork. Huh? 
superb job, Potter. Forty house points for Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Nice one, Harry. You did well there. Uh, and good luck with the Quidditch match. Quidditch match? There you are, Potter. Haven't forgotten our very important match against Hufflepuff, have you? I'll meet you outside the stadium. Great catch. 
performance. Well played, Harry. I suppose you're worn out after that. I am. I'm going to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. to believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She says she's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. Really? Yes. Now hurry up. Girls' bathroom, second floor. Isn't that supposed to be haunted? Hermione? This is a girl's bathroom. He's not a girl. No, sorry Myrtle. I just wanted to show him how uh, nice it is in here. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. So what's this plan of yours, Hermione? We need to find out who the heir of Slytherin is so we can discover who wants all the students with non-magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me. I hope. Do you think it could be Draco? Well, if it is, how do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions without him realising it's us. That's what I was thinking, which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. Oh, great. Oh! Harry! Are you OK? <sighs> I'm fine. Try and find Malfoy. He's usually lurking about the dungeons this time of night.
Goyle, get over here! You know, Goyle, I'm surprised the Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped-up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I have a Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Oh, uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. Get going, Goyle, before your fat belly explodes. I'd better get out of here and fast. Well, it isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. Bye, Harry. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Today. It's charms with Flitwick. 
I'll meet you on the second floor. morning class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve us in learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Incendio Challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Incendio Spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you've managed to collect it, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? I do, Professor. Very well then. Off you jolly well go!
excellent Potter, 40 house points to Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. There you are, Potter. Just thought I'd remind you we've got a Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. I'll meet you outside the stadium. Hurry along.
Never mind, Harry. You did your best. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. See you later. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Hey Harry, what do you think of this? I was on my way back to the dormitory when I heard moaning Marta in her bathroom. Apparently someone had tried to flush it down her toilet. <laughs> she was in a right state. Careful. My dad told me some books can be very dangerous. Well, we won't find out unless we look at it. It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Hang on. I don't know that name. T.M. Riddle got an award for special services for the school 50 years ago. I know that because Filch made me polish his shield about 50 times in detention. Well, whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. I wonder why someone wanted to try and get rid of it then. Weird. Harry went to bed before anyone else in his dormitory that night, mainly because he wanted to examine Riddle's diary. He sat on his four-poster and flicked through the blank pages until... Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught him. Okay. Harry sat entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Evening, Hagrid. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone. But monsters don't make good pets now, do they? It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. No! It was Hagrid wrong. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Go tell Hermione. I've got to go and see Hagrid. Far enough. 
As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? No, not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. We don't want to keep the Dementors waiting now, do we? All right, I'm coming. Is it Hagrid? Not exactly, but I'm a friend of Hagrid's. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I've come. In trouble? They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting a... a something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. Everyone thought that I was the monster that dwells in the Chamber of Secrets. 
I thought Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free, which was why he was expelled from Hogwarts. So you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? No, I come from a distant land and Hagrid cared for me. The girl who was killed 50 years ago was discovered in a bathroom and I have not seen any other castle apart from the cupboard I grew up in. If it wasn't you who killed that girl, then what did kill her? We shall not speak of it. I'll just go then? Go? I think not. But, but... I cannot deny my children fresh meat. Ow! Uh.
Number 64, Jacinda Sykes. Something Aragog said. Ron, that girl who died. Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think... No, 
not moaning Myrtle. It would make a lot of sense if it was. Oh, in all the excitement, I forgot. Someone's been up to the dormitory and taken the diary. What? I went to look for Hermione, but I couldn't find her. When I got back to the dormitory, the diary was missing. What? Afraid so. But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. Anyway, I'm off to bed. See you, Harry. See you, Ron. And thanks for rescuing me. You're my best friend. It's my job. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Oh, I must have slept in. Oh no, the Quidditch match. against Slytherin today. I'm glad it's you that's doing it. After all that flying about and what we found out last night, I can't think straight. Me neither. We can't tell anyone about the diary, and I don't want to be the one who brings up why Hagrid was expelled 50 years ago. And then there's... Till this time, let me rip. Tear. The voice. I just heard it again. Didn't you? Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. What does she understand? Loads more than I do. But why she got to go to the library? Because that's what Hermione does. When in doubt, go to the library. Anyway, Harry, you'd better get a move on. The match? Welcome to the final game of the season. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Slytherin look for stronger team on parchment, but Gryffindor.
you'll definitely have the skills to match them. Superstar and good keeping. A goal for Slytherin. Malfoy's been hit by a bludger. Oh! Spinner must be wishing she was somewhere else at that tackle. Excellent passing from Slytherin. Katie Bell's taken a heavy hit there. Riddle makes the neck and neck. Potter was really blocked by that bludger. Superb goalkeeping. A crumple caught by Spinnet. Pusey's catching is awesome <laughs> today. Malfoy flies into the lead. Superb goalkeeping. Malfoy's been hit by a bludger. What a fantastic catch by Spinnet. That was a hard tackle on the Slytherin chaser. Superb goalkeeping. Good catch by Katie Bell. Slytherin passes the quadruple. That tackle was so hard. Almost got Bell off the roof. Ah, that was a really heavy tackle. A great save by Gryffindor. Ow, Bloody Bell. was really rocked by that tackle. Katie Bell's taken a heavy hit there. And so, Slytherin wins the Quidditch Cup. Oh, it's such a pity Hermione didn't get to see it. What? Hermione wasn't at the match? No, I haven't seen her since she ran off this morning. I don't know. She's probably got her head stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Huh? They found her just like nearly headless Nick. Outside moaning myrtles. Steph is aboard. McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah, spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes. That's all, just pipes. Run! 
This is it. This is the answer. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. A giant snake. That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. OK, so what we need to know is how the basilisk has been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in... Moaning Myrtle's bathroom! OK, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. It's you, Harry Potter. What do you want this time? To ask how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I didn't because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom and then I died. But how? I just remember seeing these great big eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the sinks. Harry, say something. Something in parcel tongue. But go on, Harry. OK, then. Uh, open up. English. I'm going down there! Oh, I must be miles under the school. She's still alive, but only just. You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly had this nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes, but you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I... I'm Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world. Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Kill him!
got your little sword. Double door has deserted you, Harry.
deserted you, Harry.
Dumbledore has deserted you, Harry. With all that's happened, Professor McGonagall has cancelled this year's exams. I was really looking forward to doing all of that revision. As you can see, Harry, Hermione's made a complete recovery. Anyway, did you know that the House Cup is about to be awarded? The presentation's in the Great Hall. Yeah, I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. did really well against the Basilisk, Harry. Your father would have been very proud. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Jenny! Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it had a lot to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage! <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that! Yes, and courage too! Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And, as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. 